right guys hello 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 dude don't hit my car what the fuck don't hit my car you had hella room you had hella room i will never understand that anywho and he is still backing up hey guys how are you guys doing today oh alrighty where is my brain process okay get my thoughts together girl i just got okay so i just got my lashes done earlier today focus i got my lashes done earlier she does such a good job um uh, this is my first lash tech that i tried out here in atlanta and she did a pretty good job i think i um i haven't had lashes in a very long time so as soon as i got them done i freaking rubbed my eye forgetting that i had lashes on and two fell out but that's all on me but other than that i think she did a bomb job then i'm i just left the wax place so this is my second time to going to this wax place and the first time you know she did a pretty good job it didn't really hurt that bad this time Oh my gosh, I don't know. It hurt. <laughs> it didn't hurt that bad, but the pain, like normally I can walk out and like, eh. but that felt like wax number three for me. Like I've been getting wax done since my sophomore year in college. So for a pretty long time now, and normally it just like is normal to me now, but today, oh my goodness. And she also has like different levels of like wax and stuff like that. And I know last time I went in there, she was like, what kind do you want today? Do you want to do like a, um, this wax? It'll be less pain, something, something, something. So I didn't do that today. I don't know why, but I didn't do that today. And then also today she had me ass up on the freaking table. I never been ass up spread. This might be too much, but dang <laughs> i've never like i swear getting a wax is like whew, child. see back at home i used to go to wax by brie on instagram if you guys are in the 757 area definitely check her out wax by brie on instagram i used to go to brianna and you know it was normal it's like you know it's cool I don't know when you talk like I don't know when you know a person you know cool it's like your friend giving you a wax it's not a you know not a big deal but when a stranger is doing your wax and you ass up it's a little weird it's a little weird just a little weird <sighs> but yeah guys that is what happened today went to work and then went to two appointments back to back um boom 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 trying to find out so today is margarita day today is margarita's day but i'm not gonna get a margarita at first i was just like i'm gonna make my own margaritas which i still can but then i was just like i'm just gonna go home and have a glass of wine because i don't feel like going there's a walmart right here and there's a kroger but to be honest i don't feel like going in neither one of those so I'm trying to find like a Smoothie King and that is going to be my dinner. A Smoothie King or a Tropical Smoothie. I prefer, like I love Tropical Smoothie. As you guys know that. There's a Smoothie King 2.9 miles away. Henderson. Oh, that is 10 minutes. Okay, so that's 10 minutes away from here. How far away is it from my house? Okay, we're going to go to a Starbucks. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're going to Starbucks so I can get a vanilla bean frappuccino. Duh. Oh, the closest one is 16 miles away, no way. Oh, it's a seven minute walk, so that means it's gotta be close by. Okay, we're going to Starbucks. Put you here. I hope you guys don't start sliding. Where to go? This way, I think. Hopefully, I'm still stuck on how I was butt up in the air. Like, 
I don't think you guys understand how awkward that is. You know, she was sweet. She was talking to me the whole time. Okay, what kind of, like, when y'all get y'all services and stuff done, do y'all like to be talked to or do you like to do everything in silence? I'm I'm that customer, I'm that I'm that client that likes to get everything done in silence. Like I don't mind we don't have to talk. Not saying that I was like oh, annoyed by her. Not at all. She was a very sweet lady. But I prefer to get everything done in silence. Like do what you have to do and I'll be on my way. But I understand, you know, they you know want to be personable, yada yada yada. I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all. I'm just saying for me personally. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Tucker, this is Will. What can I start it for you? Hi, how are you doing today? Good, good. And what's your name, love? Destiny. Destiny's child. What can I start it for you? <laughs> yes, um, can I just have a tall vanilla bean frappuccino? Tall vanilla bean frappuccino. Anything else for you, Destiny? No, that'll be all. All right, my love. We'll see you at the window, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Have a great one. You too, lovely. Tasty taste test. So good. So good. Hi. This natural light is bomb. Diggity.com. All right, guys. Hey, girl. Hey. So it is the next day. I am feeling fantastic. I think, um, you know, when the weather is nice and all that, it just puts you in a good mood. And I am in a fantastic mood. I'm kind of talking low because I have literally all of my windows open. And I don't want my neighbors in my bitch niece. Anywho, so I just got off of work not too long ago. And... I was going to go wash my car. Like I said, the weather is nice. I was going to go wash my car and just run a couple of errands. But <laughs> not doing any of that anymore. I'm going to, I feel like the car wash is probably going to be packed. So I'm going to go early in the morning. And then um, I'm just chilling at home. I'm going to make me some dinner. Um, I'm going to clean up my apartment a little bit. I just, my apartment's clean for the most part. I just, I don't know. I feel like when I'm home and not doing anything, I might as well just clean my apartment. And also my friends are coming tomorrow, coming down from home um, tomorrow to visit moi. So that's exciting. So yeah, I'm just gonna go clean, make sure I have like towels and wash fries already laid out and all of that for stool. Um, I'm right now, I'm doing like this little driving course so unfortunately, since I moved here, my car insurance, they cut me off. Cause my dad uh, was taking care of all of that, but they cut me off because technically I'm of age, yada, yada, blah, blah. So I had to get my own insurance, yay. But I have a few little speeding tickets on mine, <laughs> unfortunately. And um, so I'm about to take a little dri online driving course so my insurance can lower, 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 lower. So yeah, so I can lower and that is that. And that is what I'm doing right now. I cannot wait until I'm finished like decorating my apartment. Like I feel like it just looks, this wall, I want like some wall art up here. I have like, I know exactly what I want. I just have to you know get it or i have an idea of what i want i just have to go find it and get it i might go to home goods um this weekend once my friends get here and we might go i'm gonna do my nails later on as well also i'm putting like curtains up right here oh my little plants i need to go get another plant i might do that today actually um 
So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm just happy. I'm not excited about anything because right now I'm about to do this little driving course. So technically I'm not really excited. I'm just happy. I'm excited to be off of work and I'm excited that today's my Friday. Don't mind my edges. Woo, child, put the game back down here. yesterday because I didn't have one in this room because I didn't have one in this room so I went to Target yesterday I bought a nightstand so I'm about to put it together I don't think it's gonna be that hard like I put together my TV stand so I put together my TV stand so now I think I'm freaking Bob the Builder so hopefully it doesn't take me forever So, I'm just probably going to fast forward through all this, get in my zone, probably listen to music, maybe watch Snowfall. Yeah, definitely going to listen to music. So, I'm going to go grab my speaker right quick, but there's 18 steps. It's going to be fine though. All right, so I'm going to put... The nightstand i think like right here next to my bed i was trying to decide if i wanted to put like a chair i know i'm putting a big plant over here so i kind of want to have like a chair like a little furry chair in the like corner caddy right here and then have a plant right here next to my bed but then i was like eh, i'd rather just have a nightstand next to my bed and then i'll put the plant I think there's somebody calling me. Then I'll put the plant next to my nightstand. And then, um, yeah. So I'm going to stop talking and try to have this done in the next hour. So right now it is 6 o'clock. So hopefully by 7, well, 6 13. So hopefully by 7 15, I will be done putting this together i have faith in myself you know i think it's gonna be completely fine to cook dinner as i'm like doing everything i'm like girl you need to cook it's getting late and i need the shower so i'm gonna cook and then while it's like cooking i'm gonna hop in the shower very quick so i don't know what i'm making i just know that i have some So 
I have some um, jumbo pasta shells that I want to use. And I took out some ground beef, so I'm going to guess make something with some maybe like taco shells. Yeah, I'm gonna make taco shells. I'm probably just gonna speed up this process only because I'm kind of tired and I don't feel like, um, honest, no, you know, I love you guys. I just don't feel like explaining in depth what I'm doing because it's not a cooking tutorial. Just, you know, watch me, you know, do what I do in the kitchen. So, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna cook, shower, come back, eat, finish that, and I don't know, watch a movie or something. Show yes. <laughs> So after you drain your meat and all that fun stuff, you just want to go in with your taco salsa. I'm using the paste chunky salsa and you can use as much or as little as you like. I didn't think I had any, but I did. I'm gonna do that much. I'm also going to add some taco blend cheese, shredded cheese. And like I said, you can add as much as you like. I kind of want mine a little cheesy. I might go back in and add some more salsa. Alright guys, so this is what it is looking like. Oh my goodness, it looks so freaking good. Alright, cool. So now, let's head over to our bacon dish. Alright, so I'm just going to take some Pam and spray the bottom of our pan like so. That remaining salsa that you have, if you didn't like use it all, I'm just going to put it at the bottom of the pan. Just, you know, spread it out. It doesn't have to be no kind of way. I didn't really have that much left over, which is cool. I'm going to let all of that come down and then put that at the bottom of the pan. Oh, he's still right there, y'all. Oh, slow down, y'all. 
<laughs> no dead ass. How old y'all think he looks? Thirty. 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 I'll give him like twenty-seven. Really? Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. Right. I was giving him a strong thirty-eight. I'm fucking dead. Yeah. Alright, so Sada asked and he's fucking married. There. He's married, y'all. Look at him drive by. Okay. He was good to look at though. That's and he had a nice smile. Yes. And he was doing his duty. That's even more attractive. Yes. Do your thing. Okay. okay, so we're gonna do some bets this weekend. We have to, you have to talk to at least three different guys. Oh, I'm with that. Easy. No, I just, I just five. Five. Put a, put a guy. No, that doesn't count because we did it at. We did it at. So we have to talk to three but different guys. But not anybody. People that you want to talk to. People okay. that you want to talk to. I need to be attractive. Right. To exactly. Okay. This the kid stuff. We gotta go over it. Hey, good, how are you? So. Three, okay, so you have to talk to three different guys, somebody that you're interested in. Um, okay, that's one. What's the other two? Bet? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. I'm gonna have three bets for the whole weekend. One bet for Carrie, don't die this weekend. <laughs> Right now. I'm up two with our bet. <laughs> zero. Can we, zero. Can we start by saying we didn't know there was ever going to be a bet? So let's go there. But here, I literally so don't worry about it. No, 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 when we first got to the mall, I said, guys, let's make it fun. Like, let's make our weekend fun and let's have a bet going on. And that is what it was, you know, right off the rip. So we got some champagne. Let's see your reaction. I mean, I'm gonna drink it because we paid for it, but. want to give you like check in with you guys um you know i started out vlogging and it was going good uh my friends i don't even know where we last went like let where i lost i don't even know where i last left off um i want to say we were at the mall yeah i want to say we we're at the mall so after we uh, left the mall, my friends and I went and got some bottles, you know, trying to get ready for the night. And then um, once we got home, it was basically like grind time, like trying to get ready, you know, so we can make it out um, before a certain time for the, um, the club or whatever. And so we got ready, um, you know, vibing out, we got a bam. We called our lift and the lift came in and got us. And then we went to the club, y'all. It started out a little like, ugh. I was just sitting there very like, oh my God, I don't wanna be here. And then, you know, once we started taking shots, I was drinking clear all night. And then all of a sudden the Henny, I was, um, they had Don Julio. And then next thing you know, the Henny got brought out. And so then I started mixing. <laughs> 
And so, you know, once you start mixing, it's either two things. You're either gonna get sick or you're gonna get messed up. And so, I was the second option and I was drunk. <laughs> we all were, except for Sada. Sada, she was drunk, she was lit, but she wasn't as lit as Carrie and I. And I was having a bomb freaking time. I was having a, the best time ever. And so I'm in my own little world, vibing out. The club was lit, boom bada bam. I even took a little cat nap in the club because your girl was tired. And then um, we called our Uber and we left and that was it. Like once we got back to the apartment, we all was on shenanigans, you know, just on shenanigans. <laughs> And then um, ended up falling asleep and then that was that. And then the next morning, um, Carrie wasn't feeling the best, so Sada and I just went to brunch. That was the most chaotic freaking thing in the world. I didn't even vlog because it was just so freaking chaotic. So we, I wanted to go to the um, Atlanta Breakfast Club. And so Sada wanted to go to a different place, but then we both, you know, uh, decided just to go to the Atlanta Breakfast Club. So we get there, and there was an hour and a half wait. I personally was cool with the wait because I understand that it's Atlanta and that, you know, anywhere that we're gonna go is gonna be a wait. Probably not an hour and a half, but it's gonna be a wait. And so I was just telling her, you know, go ahead and find some, you know, other options that we can go to. But everywhere she was calling, either wasn't answering the phone or there was a wait. So. At this point, I'm just like, I'm ready to go home. Like, I can eat a bowl of cereal. I can go to Chick-fil-A. Like, it's not that deep. I don't care. And so, um, we, we ended up driving to this place not too far from it. And didn't, she, we didn't end up eating there. We ended up going back to Atlanta um, Breakfast Club. Long story short, the food was spectacular. It looked so good. It tastes even better. Also saw Summer Walker in there. I didn't get any pictures, nor did I take pictures of her because I like to, you know, respect people's uh, privacy, especially when they're out in their own little comfort zone and everything like that. Like, nah. So I didn't take any pictures or anything like that. But Summer Walker, she was in the restaurant eating, you know, behind, like, the table behind us. So that was lit as fuck. Um, she's so pretty. Her skin was so, like, clear and glowing. She had a little pregnant wobble going on. She was cute. So. Um, that was cool. After we went to breakfast, we went back to the house and then we went to a different mall. And then we got ready to go out again for the night. So now at this club, we went to a club called Atlantis. Hey girl. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that was that. Um, we just started getting ready and then we went to this little bar lounge called Atlantis. And I brought my vlogging camera to vlog and everything, but it was so dark in there. I will say Atlantis, the DJ, he was phenomenal. Like playing all the right type of music. Like we were vibing out, we had our hookah. It was lit. We get the food, the food was mediocre. I had better food, not even gonna lie, but the DJ, like, he was lit. So that was that, like that was, you know, pretty much our weekend. I had a great time, you know, I had a great time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.